Sherry Ballard has been very outspoken about her frustrations throughout this investigation. Early on, she was frustrated because she thought police weren't working hard enough, weren't doing enough to solve her daughter and then her husband's unsolved cases. More recently, her frustrations have been geared to how long it's taking them to solve them. But today, when she sat down with her son and daughter and two granddaughters by her side at the Nelson County Sheriff's Office, she reiterated she believes wholeheartedly the FBI is going to solve this case and and this search is just getting them one step closer. In the Nelson County Sheriff's Office. And this is my son, Casey. And this is Crystal's daughter, Kylie. The Ballard family all together for the first time in years answering questions about the latest search in Bardstown. This is such a big day for us. It's such a hard day. Gosh, it's very hard family got word early Monday morning. The FBI was back, focusing in on a familiar property, the last place Crystal Rogers was seen alive. I guess as a mom, in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, gosh, you know, could she still be there? You know, could she still be there? I guess I just, until I find her, I'm just never going to be happy with that farm. The 245 acre farm belongs to the Hauk family. Crystal Rogers, former boyfriend, Brooks Hauk, has been named the main suspect in her disappearance. My daughter was always at that farm. They would go over there and take her little boy and the other kids and they would roast marshmallows and hot dogs and stuff on that farm. On the farm, dozens of FBI agents, specialized equipment and mobile command centers. Her family hopeful this search will be the last. Each day it's getting closer and I don't know, I'm just, I'm ready for answers. Um, our family just needs answers.